Welcome to the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine. We wanted to give you a brief overview of our exciting NextGen MD curriculum. Our whole team has worked hard to create the optimal learning environment for you, and we look forward to telling you about each of the three phases of the curriculum, straight from our faculty leaders and the students who live it. Throughout your training here at Miller, there will be a thread throughout all three phases called Medicine as a Profession, or MAP. You are entering a profession that is thousands of years old, one in which you must understand the art of healing, the science of discovery, and the needs of your community. MAP will guide you in that process of becoming an excellent physician, one who's grounded in the fundamental skills of clinical practice, understands the health system in which they operate, and is highly attuned to the needs of their patients and their communities. The other thread going through all three phases is the scholarly concentration, which can be a pathway with a capstone project, an accelerated three-year path to residency, or even a combined degree, for example, an MPH or MBA within four years. In fact, our medical school is number one in the country for graduating students with dual degrees. Let's get started with phase one, the first 14 months of the curriculum. Phase one sets the foundation for your education using innovative and proven methods of learning. Take it away, phase one. Thanks, hello, and welcome to phase one. Phase one of the Next Gen MD curriculum actually starts before you arrive in Miami. Before matriculation, there are several self-directed learning modules for you to receive foundational information in basic science, such as cell biology and immunology. That will give you a jump start on your phase one courses. You can complete these wherever you are in the world, so no worries about travel plans. When you come to Miami, your first course is Introduction to the Medical Profession. In these two weeks, you will learn about our community through population health activities, and we start building your skills in team communication and self-directed learning right away. By the end of the two weeks, you will have learned how to interview a patient, including a standardized patient exercise, and be ready for early clinical experiences starting in September. Next up is the Biomedical Principles of Health course. This course provides the foundations in the basic sciences pertinent to medicine. Following the foundational basic sciences are the more clinical symptom signs and disease courses. These utilize a case-based approach to teaching pathophysiology. All of these courses are taught in a flipped classroom manner with a focus on interactive and small group learning. Another important aspect is a focus on self-directed study using a variety of instructional methods, including resources that align with USMLE exam preparation. These courses occupy most mornings in NextGen MD Phase 1. Your scholarly concentration work in a pathway or a dual degree also begins in Phase 1 and occupies one afternoon per week. The case-based approach focuses our attention on realistic clinical scenarios and allows us to integrate our knowledge from different areas with the ultimate goal of comprehensive patient care. Beyond our lectures and home learning, the collaborative learning sessions allow us to apply our knowledge and analyze, diagnose, and treat a wide range of medical issues. The small group case studies provide a great way for us to apply the material in a hands-on way and forge relationships with our peers. We are encouraged to think critically and are guided by our faculty facilitators who keep us on the right track. In parallel with the Phase 1 morning courses are the Medicine as a Profession courses, or MAP for short. You will meet one afternoon a week in small groups with an experienced clinician who will be your coach and advisor for all four years of medical school. These MAP afternoons focus on several threats including clinical skills, ethics and professionalism, population health, leadership, and wellness. You will also get a chance to engage with at least one neighborhood in Miami, as we emphasize the critical role of the physician to improve health equity through public policy and community action by understanding the social determinants of health. At Miller, we are put into academic societies which serve as built-in social support networks. Our physician guide serves not only as a teacher, but also as a mentor, helping us with the challenges and nuances of learning medicine. Welcome to phase two of the NextGen MD curriculum. This is the clerkship year where students will rotate through four integrated thematic clerkships. 
The clerkships are the practice of medicine where students will have outpatient and inpatient experiences and internal medicine and its subspecialties as well as family medicine. We also have Mind Matter in Medicine, where students will have an integrated psychiatry, neurology, ophthalmology, and palliative care experience. From the ER to the OR with surgery, anesthesia, and emergency medicine rotations. And finally, Women and Children's Health with integrated OBGYN and pediatric clerkships. Most of our clerkship clinical experiences occur at the three main healthcare systems on our medical campus, the U Health, the Miami BA and Jackson Memorial Health System. Jackson is one of the largest safety net hospitals in the country. We also have extensive clinical experiences of other clinical sites throughout South Florida. Our clinical education is longitudinally connected with the basic sciences and MAP afternoons during this phase. We have small group meetings with facilitators regularly to connect and reinforce what we've learned. Integrating basic science along with solid clinical experiences during the clerkship year will prepare us to be ready for the national board exams and the phase three of Next Gen MD. <laughs> Finally, phase three. Welcome to phase three. What is exciting about phase three is that it is a truly personalized experience. Since you start phase three halfway through your third year as a medical student, you have nine months as opposed to the traditional three months to explore career choices before residency applications are submitted. During phase three, your experiences include a sub-internship, an integrated science selective that incorporates foundational and clinical science, a critical care selective, various elective options across all of our specialties, and a transition to residency boot camp course. It's great that our dual degree students have time to complete the rest of their second degree requirements during phase three. And for those students not doing a dual degree program, this provides an opportunity to complete the scholarly concentration capstone work. The scholarly concentration component of the Next Gen MD curriculum is your opportunity to choose an area of study that complements and enhances your medical education. For the students that enroll in a dual degree program, Phase 3 provides time to complete coursework and your thesis or capstone project. Dual degree students do not need to do a separate pathway of emphasis. For the students choosing to follow a pathway of emphasis, during phase one you choose a mentor and design a scholarly project focused on a particular area of interest. Phase three then provides time to focus on completing work on this project. In the spring of the fourth year, you present your project to your peers and the research community at the Scholarly Concentration Symposium. At the end of phase three, all students participate in a transition to residency boot camp to prepare for internship in general and also prepare for individual specialties. In short, phase three prepares me for the rigors of being a clinician while also encouraging me to engage in research and community outreach. For now, I'm back to the OR. Thanks, Sarah. In other presentations, you'll hear about various aspects of our medical school including more about the combined degree options, research opportunities, and all of the great community service we offer through organizations like DOCS. Thank you so much for taking the time to hear about our curriculum. We're really excited about the opportunities that it provides, and we hope this was a helpful glimpse into the experience. We look forward to seeing you at the U.